usernames in Signal. Probably the biggest criticism of Signal Messenger, and you know what, I'm all for it. But listen to this. One note here is, you know, we are rolling out usernames, which should launch in early, early 2024. Um, usernames will make it possible to communicate with anyone on Signal without sharing your phone number. Tail Signal has released a test version of the application and you can already start to see some screenshots of people who use it. So you can set up your Signal username and they even have a whole thread here for a staging environment where you can actually go and test this yourself. So yes, those of you watching right now can actually download a version of Signal directly from Signal that allows you to use usernames. Now you might be thinking, why the hell is this so complicated? Just roll out the feature. Come on, what are you guys doing? Just twiddling your thumbs. But actually it's a much more complicated feature than that. So if you go here, like most things that Signal does, they really, really, really go from the ground up and try to make sure it's done in the most private and secure way imaginable. Shout out to the person on the forum who shared this. Thank you very much for that. Um, they actually in-depth breakdown, setting a username and why it's more complicated than you might think to do this. And so they also talk about how they're encrypting things like the username blob, a server ID, as well as adding entropy as well to the username in order to have username links. They can rotate the link without changing the username by just picking new server ID and entropy and storing a new blob on the service. When the user decrypts the username, they see it deployed exactly how the user uploaded it. And the service has no idea what links correspond to what usernames. It's it's just storing encrypted blobs. And this is the kind of stuff that really does tend to separate Signal from the competitors is that Signal really pays attention to these small details. Out sharing your phone number. So that will provide a level of privacy on the device, which will be really important. Um, but you know, it's taken us a while to do that because it's actually a major ar architectural overhaul. Um, so that is, you know, that will be providing a bit more privacy of phone numbers. So, you know, you can't enumerate your groups and just see everyone who is in it. I do want to quickly shout out our gold sponsor, Tutanota, who is sponsoring us at the moment. They are doing some amazing work over there and giving you a private, secure, open source and completely green energy built email provider. It is so awesome. Big fan of what they're doing. Make sure to check them out down in the description if you're looking for an email provider that better respects you. Now, why usernames? Well, as of right now, the way Signal works is you register with a phone number, and then the only way to add someone to Signal is if you share your phone number with them. People are used to sharing phone numbers in person, and so it's actually, if anything, more convenient, I think, to be phone number based, because people already have your phone number, you go, hey, can you just add me on Signal instead? And they don't need to do anything else. They already know how to contact you on Signal. With that said, uh, the lack of usernames really has been a missing feature in Signal for a long time, and it's not something I've been proud of. This is actually one of the few things I prefer about Telegram because Telegram, similar to Signal, requires you to register with a phone number, but once you do that, you can hide your phone number and set up a username, and then that's how you communicate with people. Now, for the record, based on everything I can see, that is what Signal's going to be doing. Signal is not dropping the phone number requirement. That is how they prevent spam, and that is how they currently have your account tied to you. Um, and there currently is no other option to get around that. So for people wondering if this means no phone number requirement. That is not what's happening here. If you're looking for a messenger without a phone number requirement, maybe look at something like Briar or Session or Simplex or anything like that. That's not going to require a phone number. But for people who are testing this, you have to go into your settings and pretty much disable your phone number from being publicly viewable, just like Telegram. And then you just set up your username and that's how you add people to Signal. Have caution. If you're, if you're using iOS, run lockdown mode. Um, if you're using you know, Google accounts run their advanced protection. You know, there are things to do, but I don't, you know, what I don't want to ever assert is that somehow there's sort of a magic bullet that Signal has to, you know, prevent a Pegasus. I think this is, there's a sort of broader threat model and threat model awareness that needs to happen there. And there are certain things Signal can't prevent, but, you know, disappearing messages do work, assuming your OS can be trusted. Um, and usernames will help with the, you know, ability to, you know, enumerate a network from one device or, or help prevent that ability. Just to double click on this, I'm super glad Meredith talked about both Apple and Google's advanced protection programs, both of which we have covered a little bit on the channel. And so I'd highly suggest people using either iOS or Android to explore both of these programs because they can be significant help. Uh, and actually here's what's super exciting. Apple's lockdown mode has prevented more than one Pegasus style type of attack. So, woo, that is cool. Good job, Apple. I know 
I'm thrilled for this. I know our team member Jonah is absolutely thrilled for this as well. I know a ton of people in my position who have to have kind of a public presence who are thrilled for this because then you don't have to publish a phone number. So this is just really exciting on a lot of accounts and I'm super happy to see this. Now PC Mag wrote an article about this as well, which details a few other things, uh, most notably just to kind of highlight this again. Whitaker said that it's taken us a while to do that because it's a major architectural overhaul. So again, uh, this is a big thing that Signal's been having to work on for a long time. And and they are testing this on Android, iOS, and desktop. Keep in mind, you have to have the test version of all of them. You can't just set it up on one device. So you also have to turn off that phone number discovery. And it's worth mentioning that normally, I don't think the staging beta builds actually are just easy to download, but they just posted an APK directly on here. So you can just download an APK directly from the forum. So this is super exciting. So just to summarize, this is a quick video, just kind of keeping you all updated on a major announcement in the privacy community. And you might be thinking, why does this deserve its own video? That's because Signal is probably the most popular private and security messaging service that at least we recommend and most people in the privacy community recommend. And this is one of the biggest announcements I think Signal has done in a long time. Keep in mind that this also impacts other messengers. Just a few days after Signal announced this, WhatsApp introduces username. So this is some healthy competition that we're seeing between these messengers. I think Signal's been getting kind of a bad rep the last few years because of things like mobile coin and even things like stories, even though I kind of like the stories feature uh, because I think it makes it competitive to things like WhatsApp. A lot of people didn't like that because they thought that Signal was prioritizing the wrong things. Now, I don't run Signal and I don't know if it's my place to criticize that. I do appreciate the stories feature, but I am much more appreciative to see uh, this whole username thing. I know I'm in my little bubble on our forum uh, where I keep up with this as well as a lot of other things. So if you want to be in that bubble, do check out our forum at discuss.techler.tech. It's a great place to be and you can chat with other people about this as well. Um, but if you're not in that bubble and you just watch these videos, that's awesome too. And that's why I'm making this video. If you want to see links to the things I showed, I'm going to link that Whitaker section where she talks about this, but also it's just a great discussion. So if you like this and you want to hear more um, about mass surveillance and how Signal's an important tool, I actually recommend listening to this whole thing. It's a little over an hour, but you're going to learn a lot and it's going to teach you a lot about some important things that you didn't know about your messenger as well as surveillance in the world today. That's it for this video, everybody. If you like what we're doing, make sure to check us out on patreon.com slash to support this and keep all this stuff coming to you for free. If you want to join these discussions and be in that bubble so that you get all these announcements before I make a video on it, check out our forum at discuss.techler.tech. I also want to thank our amazing patrons, as I already mentioned, who are supporting all of the stuff that we do. You guys are all fantastic. And I also want to thank Tutanota again for sponsoring our content and making things like this possible. Thank you, Tutanota. And I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. It's awesome to, I don't know, I'm just excited for this. So see you next time.